Okay guys, a bit of a HHO update. I've really been doing nothing much. I've just um, got some of the basic components together to make a sort of a prototype solution to get some gas torch happening. Um, you can see here, we'll start here, this is a uh, water reservoir, so it's an old, it's an old fuel tank and um, it's got some AN4, AN-4 um, pieces coming out, bulkhead fittings, so it, ha it hasn't caused any problems leaking yet, um, it's sealed pretty well. This is the gas coming out, the water level comes up to about here. Um, and that's just tap water, so I'm, I'm doing a bit of stuff with tap water, trying to forget the um, need to have electrolytes uh, in the system. And our tap water is pretty pure here. So water up to here. This is a um, water out to the cell, water outlet to the cell. Um, comes down, and I've got it coming down to a uh, pump. This is a 12 volt pump, we'll see that working later. Um, outlet of the pump comes to the cell, and um, this is the same old cell as the type on the car on the four wheel drive uh, project. So water comes in, and it's got three ways to go down goes down to the bottom of the cell, and, and the cell is the uh, Stan Meyer inspired cell. I know it's not a Stan Meyer cell, it's more of a Joe cell. It's a uh, Stan Meyer inspired Joe cell, I suppose. Um, after the electrolysis process has proceeded, the gas uh, comes out. It's got three gas ports straight out of the top of the cell, and they, uh, <laughs> it's a rat's nest there, um, two pieces. Outlet get this is the gas now. Um, it's out of the cell. It does a loop to loop for no particular reason, and hits on into the uh, bottom of the water reservoir. So this is gas coming in now. Um, when the pump is running, it's actually uh, water going into the cell and, and a water gas uh, concoction coming back into the reservoir. So our yeah, gas is flying up and the water levels here so this is the gas outlet now. Um, this hose does nothing. It's just blanked off there. I could have just put that blank on here I guess. Um, used to get hook onto here for like a uh, quantity, water quantity type of um, level indication but no, I'm not using that. I've just sealed it up. So the gas, the uh, HHO gas is coming out of the top. So being here, the water level of course gas up the top. This, this is the cap for filling uh, the water and um, so I would imagine there's about two litres of uh, gas in here which is not desirable but this is a prototype system. So the gas coming out, the gas outlet, this is uh, you might recall from a, a previous video here this uh, piece of quarter inch uh, stainless steel pipe is full of um, thin gauge stainless steel wire and it's packed full of it uh, lengthways so longitudinally there's very small holes it, it's a flashback arrester of sorts it's not perfect um, let's have a look at it <laughs> you can see on this end it's kind of blued. I have used it as a torch uh, with the, the gas coming straight through and, and flaming uh, torch on the end end of this and uh, it has got, you can see it's burnt back to about here but no temperature back here. So the stainless steel lock wire or alcanel Al it's called um, lock wire in there. I've got it going this is, I'm saying, what I'm saying is this is the first um, primary, well, secondary flashback arrestor here. Let's zoom back out. Okay, our gas out of the, uh, remember out of the uh, top of the reservoir of course, the gas coming out is going through this, uh, what's that, 
primary flashback arrest. In, into a um, bubbler here, and we can see the old bubbler, it's the same old bubbler I use in most of the videos. Got a new pressure gauge, old pressure gauge fucked up with the um, H with the uh, hydroxy water getting in there. It's got a new um, stainless steel springed um, pressure relief regulating valve on top. Outlet of that comes out. This is actually it, one of the torches I normally use in one of the videos. I'm using it purely as a shut off valve and. Uh, <laughs> well, a third form of flashback arrestor. We got the tube with the ink and L wires. We got the uh, bubbler. We got the torch itself, which is also a uh, <laughs> the normal flashback arrestor. Nothing gets back through that baby ever. It's full of uh, bronze wool, I think, from microwave oven. Then we've got it going into the final solution is a torch, cutting torch, now that's a cutting torch that's just got the one inlet for the HHO gas, got it sitting in a pot of water there, final safety. That torch has actually got some bronze wool stuffed in the end of it as well, so there's another form of flashback. So we're looking good there with uh, flashback protection, I'm happy with it. Um, powering the whole shebang, we're using plain tap water quite quite um, pure tap water, not much uh, shit in the water here so the uh, electrolytes factor is way down of course uh, nothing, no added nothing to the water, tap water bubbler, running it from the uh, good old DC welder which uh, is a constant current source so if I dial up 40 amps there, yeah 40 amps into this cell whether I've got electrolytes in there, if I've got it full of sodium hydroxide, and I'll dial up 40 amps in there. Still just going to get 40 amps here. I don't think I'm going to get much more flow. And this is what I'm about here with this video, maybe, is to demonstrate the uh, pure tap water versus sodium hydroxide solution. If you can get enough current, and, and I've got it with the uh, DC welder there, I recommend anyone get one. Then we'll see the outlet uh, output there in gas is um, quite sufficient. Um, possibly a little bit down on sodium hydroxide electrolytes, but um, quite sufficient. We'll see that in the next video when this uh, battery is changed. Okay, see you in uh, part two. Thanks, bye.